This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to another video quick tip. Today in this video, I wanna talk about expressions, specifically the new expression editor within After Effects version 16.1. This is a new update released in April, 2019, the spring update. And basically it brought a lot of really cool changes to After Effects expressions, specifically the expression editor here. So in After Effects version 16, um, that, that was released a while ago, um, we had this nice mono face uh, monotype update to the expression font here, which pretty much made expressions a lot easier to read. And this is great. I can e see it a lot better now. Um, and this is how code is meant to be read in a lot of common um, code editors and stuff like that. Um, but in version 16.1, they completely just revamped it. And now we have a full blown text editor full with line numbers and like syntax highlighting and collapsible code blocks of code and you know errors and stuff like that so this is this is like fantastic here so basically you have line numbers now which is great because in the past if you ever had any you know errors it'd be like oh shoot you have an error on line 360 you know where the hell is 360 uh, who knows but now we know where that is and for example if we do something stupid like return um, I don't know, an if statement and just end it, you know. So now we get an error here, which which is not new, but if we go into the code editor itself, we actually get an inline error that says, hey, you're illegal returning um, outside of a function body here. So, you know, it gives you the line number, it shows you the line number exactly right here and it's telling you, um, you know, kind of like what's wrong with it. So, hey, we get that really nice cool feature now that will save you a lot of time. Um, and also you have um, a lot of highlighting stuff. So syntax highlighting stuff like if, and you know, it auto creates a closing brace, right? Yep, it auto creates a closing brace here and it highlights uh, the bracing. Um, so you can't really forget a brace. And if you don't have one, um, you know, it will kind of be like this weird alert color here until you add it, you know, turn green and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, so less syntax error now due to the syntax highlighting and stuff like that, inline error code. Um, so that's really cool. You also saw that if I typed something like, for example, a, a variable, I'm using the cursor variable, for example, that I created. If I type in cursor, you can kind of see that it kind of brings up suggestions on what I need to do or what I want to do. So for example, it brought up cursor, my variable here, current timer, time to current format. So it brings up common functions and variables that I think that I might need which will save you a lot of headache if you ever, you know, you know, mistype a variable, you know, weird casing or whatever like that. Um, and so now less error with choosing the right variable and you don't have to remember exactly how you wrote a variable or whatever like that. So this is pretty cool. Um, so now it's a pretty much a full blown text editor, uh, code editor, and there's actually more stuff to it. So if you go to the new preference scripting expressions tab right here, uh, this is kind of important for anyone who uses scripts in After Effects, which is pretty much everyone. Um, so allow scripts to write files and access network used to be in the general tab. It is now in this new tab. So make sure you have this checked because a lot of scripts rely on this feature. Um, you can enable the debugger for JavaScript and there's a lot of features that you can turn on and off. For example, you can change the font size to a smaller size if you use a lot of code and that will kind of decrease the font size. If you don't like the highlighting or showing index guides or showing line numbers, you can you know, disable that. You can disable autocomplete if it just sucks. Um, you know, if you wanna use spaces like a savage, you can you know, uncheck use tabs and use spaces. Um, but you know, why would you wanna do that? Use tabs, please. Um, I'm just playing. And, and you know, there's also themes. So if you like a dark theme, which is the default, I believe, um, you can change the theme to something darker like this um or you can pretty much select whatever theme you want if you want to go hipster you can go ahead and select a you know pastel theme um or you can pretty much customize the color yourself and create your own custom theme here and you know i'm sure you can save or whatever um but basically this is a full-blown you know pretty much ide or code editor and you can pretty much customize it the way you want and this is fantastic um, and a much welcome feature to anyone who writes any sorts of code in After Effects. And so that is pretty much my favorite new feature 
in the new After Effects version um, 16.1 here. Now I do kind of want to briefly talk about some of the changes in expressions in general in After Effects starting from version 16. So I'll link all these links in the video description down below, but basically um, it's referencing some Adobe pages that kind of tells you some of the new stuff um, within the new expression editor here. So you can find more information here. But some of the stuff in version 16 is very, very significant. Basically, they went from an old legacy extend script expression engine to a new modern JavaScript engine here, starting from version 16. And there's a lot of new things that you know are broken. So for example, um, there's some if else statement syntax differences, for example. So I believe single line if else statements are not going to work. You're gonna need a break here. Um, for example, uh, let's see here. So yeah, so these are also some of the examples if else um, there are certain syntax you need to write in order for this to work. Um, if else cannot be on the same line without brackets, expressions cannot end in a function declaration, um, that this shorthand syntax is not allowed, use this layer instead. So, so some of these are very, very, very um, important. So for example, snake case properties and methods are not allowed. So if you, you know, looked on Creative Cow or old Adobe Forms, you see a lot of expressions like, you know, this comp written this way or this underscore layer. These things don't exactly work anymore. Um, and so if you, you know, paste an expression in and it doesn't work, try replacing it with um, these alternative camel case alternatives here. And so a lot of this is um, new to the new editor. And I think a lot of people should be um, kind of aware of some of this stuff here because a lot of things has changed since the new um, engine here. Most things should work normally, but um, there are some certain things and just keep that in mind. Um, and this is kind of just an expression language reference here just for expression newbies here. Um, so there is in the new 16.1 update, there is a new script, I believe. Um, right here, the update legacy expression script. You can actually download the script and basically it's going to run through your project and pretty much change old expressions that don't that no longer work like single line if else, um, shorthand this layer references, um, you know, all this snake case properties. It's, it's pretty much going to change all the old legacy stuff and try to make it work with the new engine and update it to the new engine here. Um, so this is a cool script that you can download. Um, I, I believe it's included in the new After Effects version under the file scripts update legacy expressions right here. So, you know, this is just something to keep in mind if some of your old projects don't don't work. And I think this is an important feature to know, but yep, this is the new expression editor in After Effects version 16.1 using the new JavaScript engine in After Effects version 16 with some new changes into expressions. So just keep that in mind. Um, before I go, I'm gonna thank our quick sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing things to choose from, beautifully crafted. You can actually customize the website exactly the way you want it to look like without any coding experience required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the digits. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. But yeah, this is the new expression editor in After Effects version 16.1. Just some expression changes that I want you guys to know about in case you're kind of browsing the web. But my name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.